Namaskar. I am Dr. Rapala Mishra and I have secured All India Rank 9 this year in the UPSC CSE exam. Uh, but today I stand before you all not as someone who secured All India Rank 9, but as someone who just two years down the memory lane was standing here in the streets of old Rajendranagar, neck deep in underconfidence and self-doubt. I had such a huge amount of self-doubt that I wouldn't be able to look at people in the eyes while speaking. Because I, as Sadaf had mentioned, I came from a very good academic background and then suddenly two, pe two prelims failed and I thought I was just not capable enough for this exam. But as we say, the, the beauty of UPSC exam lies in the fact that it gives us so many opportunities and so many time frames to improve ourselves, to in introspect within ourselves and come to conclusions about how we can go ahead in this journey. And I think what is very important is in this journey is that if you learn to respect yourself the same amount as you respect this exam, then I think your destination will not be far. And uh, talking about destination, there's just one little thing that I want to say before I move on to the preparation phase. Is that uh, throughout this exam preparation phase, we feel that this is our destination, to be standing here giving a talk, that is my destination. But the truth is that our destination does not end here. This is the beginning, this is not the end. And for that, I'll just say one line for my fellow officers and co-speakers uh, that Zindagi ek musalsal safar hai yaro, Zindagi ek musalsal safar hai yaro, manzil pe pahunche to manzil bhar gai. So I hope we continue this spirit of self-growth and self-improvement and become capable officers of great caliber serving the nation. So now I move on to the part of the preparation that uh, fetched me good marks. I think that is the interview preparation. And for that, I'd like to thank Khan sir specifically, because when I came to him and uh, when I was returning, he told me that you'll get above 200 marks. And I think his prophecy came true. Uh, so definitely that was a confidence booster for me. Uh, so I'll just uh, jump straight to the Kam Ki Baat part, and that is how to prepare for your interview. Uh, so firstly here I'd like to say that uh, interview preparation is like any other phase of this exam. This cannot be taken lightly or ignored or uh, taken with arrogance that you've already cleared mains. This has to be taken with the same amount of consistency that you've put in your mains and prelims preparation and the same amount of knowledge related hard work. Uh, there is an ongoing myth, there is an ongoing myth in the market that uh, personality test is just a test of your personality and you don't need to study anything for that. And when I started my preparation, I was fed this by a lot of people. Uh, but trust me, this is far from true because your knowledge forms your personality. Your knowledge base would reflect who you are as a person. And if you don't know about yourself, then your personality will not shine. I think that is very important. So how to know yourself? I think that for that you fill a detailed application form and straight away from the first word of the detailed application form is what you start thoroughly preparing. I prepared notes for each and every word of my DAF and the first word is of course your name. And uh, coincidentally the first question asked to me in my main interview was the meaning of my name and a huge discussion followed through. So I think you must be prepared with anything and everything it does not mean that you ignore your GS aspects. For example, if uh, my mother is a teacher, so I should know not just about her profession and occupation, I should also know what is the education scenario in India? What are the challenges of education system? What is the new education policy about? I should have a holistic view of every little aspect that is mentioned in my DAF and related with the GS aspects. So I think that requires a lot of notes making. The second aspect of this knowledge part is the current affairs portion. Now what happens that as long as we are reading and preparing for mains, uh, we have this tendency uh, to learn a few things, learn the names of committees, and also uh, as a lot of co-speakers mentioned 
tendency of bluffing examples, I also had that. But what happens in interview is that you cannot bluff. You have to have substance for everything. If you're taking a name of a committee, you should know who that person is. Otherwise, it would seem that you've just memorized everything and just come straight away to the interview hall. So that won't do. And the second thing is that uh, up until this time, we have been reading news uh, for the sake of having information, but not for the sake of making opinions and forming substantial opinions. It is completely all right if you have opinions, that is okay. If you have extreme opinions, that is also all right. What they are testing is that are you capable enough to support your opinions, to stand by what you say, or are you someone who does not know, or, or are you someone who just knows how to crib and complain and does not have any solutions for that. So whenever you read the newspapers, read it in a manner as to what you will say about it in the interview stage. For example, if Afghanistan situation is going on, you must know what opinion do you have what should be India's stand? What should be the regional approach? You should have a very holistic outlook and you should have your own opinion ready. Because in my interview also, they'd asked me, tell us your opinion specifically. So you should be prepared with that. So this was the knowledge aspect. The second aspect of the interview preparation is the presentation aspect. Now you should know what the board is looking for you should not look like a box of knowledge and a box of information. You should look like someone who has thought about things. I think that is the most major and basic prerequisite for interview. You should, know, uh, you should uh, look like someone who has an opinion, who is a balanced personality and who is an approachable person, who is humble. You should not look like an arrogant officer. You should look like an officer who would do good for the country. You know, it is said, enter like an officer, answer like an officer, and leave like an officer. And that should be your basic mantra of appearing for the interview stage. And lastly, I just say that one thing that is very important throughout this preparation, and especially during the interview stage, and that is having confidence in yourself. A lot of times we do study, but we feel like we do not know enough. But the reality is that we do know enough. We just don't know how to express it. So have that confidence in yourself. Have that belief in yourself. Keep yourself motivated at all times of the preparation. That is very necessary. Don't ask yourself unnecessary questions like, uh, you know, don't quit before actually giving the exam. Once you're done with the exam, then you can do anything. But don't create negativity around you before you've actually appeared for the exam. Have that faith in yourself. Have faith in your preparation. Have faith in your knowledge. You know, it is said that success is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. So all these talks, that might give 1% inspiration. But 99% perspiration is what we have to do and what everyone here has done. So all the best to everyone. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.